Hi, I'm Amadeus and I'm here to review Apple's new tablet device called the iPad. Now, one thing I want to prove to you here that I believe that this is a game-changing device. Um, I think the iPad is perfect for magazines, as a digital book reader, email, internet browsing. It's a great gaming device and perfect for music and TV. Uh, it has lots of uses around the house. It's even got a use here in this intro, as I refer to it as my notes. Um, it feels comfortable, light, easy to use. Whereas I think if I was actually trying to refer to my notes in this intro with a laptop, it's big, bulky, heavy and hot. Uh, or the iPhone, which is a great little device, but not ideal for referring to notes. It's just a little bit too small. So this is where the iPad fits in perfectly. Already, in the intro, I've found uh, an ideal place for this. Now, I do believe that the iPad comes into its own around the house. I believe it's the casual uh, browsing device that we're all going to need. And there is a gap between the laptop and the iPhone. Um, first thing you do in the morning when you... Oh, by the way, you probably noticed that the back has become black. Point here, this is probably the first con against the iPad is... Uh, You've got to be careful on the back. That does actually scratch if you're not careful. It's got a beautiful glass front, and I do, you know, you're never going to scratch the front. It really is quite tough and, and unscratchable. But the back, when you put it down on hard surfaces in the kitchen, for instance, on granite, it could scratch. So I went to eBay for 4 99 and got a rubber case, and I recommend that's probably the first thing you do when you get your iPad, is make sure you protect the back. Don't bother about the front. Don't get one of them screens that I've seen people with on their iPhones. That's just like wearing a rubber Johnny. It's just not a good feeling, you know. It's got to be natural. So, where does this come into its own? Kitchen, get up in the morning. The first thing I do, make a cup of coffee, the odd Pop-Tart or Golden Grahams. And then I check my Facebook and I update my status or my Twitter. Um, now, normally in the old days, I would have gone to my laptop here and tried to boot it up. Whereas it takes a little while. Whereas one button here... Within a second, there we go, we're off. We're updating our status on Facebook. Uh, nice big keyboard. We're doing the same on Twitter, um, which is, you know, you could, you could say you could do that on your iPhone. And to be fair, that's what I've been doing for uh, three years now. However, this is, th that's okay. You can do your Facebook and Twitter on that, no problem. But what about reading email in the morning when you check your mail? It's fine, but I don't know about you, I read the email, but I never reply because it's a little bit fiddly on the keyboard to reply to an email. This, however, is beautiful. Just open the email, all loads in very fast, very quick. I can see all my accounts there. And for instance, I've got one here from uh, Andy Pickles. So that's good. And rather than read it and work, work it out later, I actually put it on the surface here, type back to Andy and say, hi, Andy got your email speak later big nose as I like to call him there we go reply done so that's how quick it is to reply to an email nice big keyboard so I wouldn't have done that on the iPhone I would have saved it till later uh, and the other thing which I think is going to be very apparent in this review is newspapers magazines print media that's where this comes into its own uh, rather than getting a paper boy or going to a little corner shop for my paper i can actually download every paper in the world here if i want to or subscribe to some now it's a it's an american ipad so therefore at the moment i've only got american newspapers until the uk app store is live so having a quick look at the new york times bang she's in there you go, all the nice articles, very, very comfortable to use. Uh, if there's an article I wanna read, I just double tap on it, it loads up, and I flick through the pages and I read it. And it's instant, it's there. Today's paper is there. And uh, like I said, I don't have to go out and buy a newspaper ever again. And the same with magazines, but more about that later. So in the kitchen, with your Golden Grahams, your Pop-Tarts and your coffee, I think the iPad wins. I would never use the laptop first thing in the morning. And I really wouldn't use my iPhone anymore to reply to emails or even read the newspaper. But I would use the iPad. So 1-0 uh, to the iPad. So the big question is, does the iPad replace your laptop or your desktop? And a lot of people have asked me, I'm thinking about getting a laptop, should I wait and get an iPad? Well, no, not really. This doesn't really replace the, uh, what I call the, the mothership, 
your, your main computer because that's where all your photos and movies are stored on. This then becomes the portable device. In the same way as the iPhone and the iPod is a portable device, that's what this is. So, it, and you wouldn't use this for heavy applications such as um, Photoshop or, or Final Cut or any major editing. So this is not the workhorse, this is the casual browser, the casual user and it is a portable device. So if you're thinking about getting a new device, think twice about just buying an iPad because you will need to sync it up. Um, and talking about syncing it up, let's talk about the, the ports and the switches that come with the device. On the bottom is uh, what I call the main uh, plug socket which uh, you put that in. Now anybody who's got an iPod or an iPhone will know what that is. It's a standard little Apple uh, device that goes in the bottom there and that's where you sync it up to iTunes and do the same thing as you do with an iPod. That's your sync uh, and that's what you use. Uh, to the left of that you've got the speaker and I'm very impressed with the sound at the moment on this because I was expecting it to be a bit tinny and very much like the uh, the iPods and the iPhones but it's better. I'm not saying it's hi-fi quality, don't get me wrong, but it's uh, good enough for watching TV and for, you know, for radio and, and music. So the speaker's good. On the side we've got the volume switch up and down, a little rocker switch there which is self-explanatory. Um, and above that we've got uh, a nice little switch so that if you've got it in, say, uh, landscape mode and you're watching TV you can switch that down and then when you turn it in bed and you want to watch it on the side with your wife maybe you're watching a, uh, a special movie together you can lay on the side and it doesn't affect the fact that it's in landscape it locks itself into landscape mode so that's quite nice and on the top we've got the microphone and also we've got the jack mini jack output for the headphones obviously which is the same headphone socket as you get on an iPod or an iPhone so on the top uh, there's a little black button there which you the same button as you get on the iPhone and the iPod touch and it's what we call the sleep button uh, one press uh, puts it to sleep and one press wakes it and of course if you hold it down uh, it shuts the whole iPad down so those are the basic things that are on the outside um, yeah there's not much to it really so does it replace uh, your mothership, your, your main computer, your main PC? No. Think twice about that. Um, and would I use this in the office? Yes, probably about 10% uh, of using it in the office. I would use the pad, um, the contacts, the calendar, um, and also iWorks coming out on it as well, so you can use pages, uh, keynote, and numbers, which is the equivalent of the Microsoft Office suite. So you will be able to do some basic functions on this, but it's not the sort of thing that you take to work and use all day. You'd, like I said, you just use it for meetings, taking notes, and uh, yeah, casual stuff, really. So that's where it fits in the daytime for me. Um, I do take it to meetings and uh, I'm using it. I do think when they come out with version 2, 3, 4 and maybe an iPad Pro, we will have more powerful um, applications for it and it'll, it'll be able to cope with that. But for now, it's a casual user's device.